Do you have low HDL and you're looking for some natural ways to increase it? Well, I have good news for you because you're in the right place. HDL is known as the good type of cholesterol because it goes around the bloodstream collecting and discarding of damaged cholesterol. Low HDL levels have been associated with an increased heart disease risk, even more significantly than high LDL levels are. But it's important to note that drugs that increase HDL do not seem to have the same benefits that increasing it naturally does. And this is key to understand. You need to increase your HDL naturally in order to reduce your heart disease risk and your risk of other diseases as well. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kate. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach. I post new videos twice a week here on YouTube talking all things insulin resistance, weight loss, sleep, and more. So if you're ready to take control of your metabolic health, make sure to click that subscribe button. And you can also find me on TikTok and Instagram. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. For everything from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that does it all. Head to squarespace.com forward slash health coach Kate to start your free trial today. Having low HDL is associated with an increased heart disease risk, even more so than having high LDL is. But LDL is usually what's focused on. Which is unfortunate, because looking at our HDL and our triglycerides tells us a lot more about our cardiovascular risk and our overall health, independent of whether our LDL is high or low. I talk more about triglycerides and their significance in a video I posted a couple weeks ago. I'll link that video up above if you want to know more. But back to HDL. HDL levels between 40 milligrams per deciliter or one millimole per liter are considered to be low and levels over 60 milligrams per deciliter or 1.5 millimoles per liter are considered to be optimal. But anyways, let's get straight into the four tips on how you can boost your HDL naturally. Number one, swap to coconut oil. Coconut oil contains a unique type of fat that is different than most of the fat we consume. And this type of fat can actually help to increase HDL cholesterol. This type of fat is called medium chain triglycerides, often shortened to MCTs. Typically, the fat we consume is digested slowly, but medium chain triglycerides skip the digestion process and they're processed directly by the liver. Coconut oil is one of the best sources of MCTs, but it's also found in dairy products such as butter and cheese. And you can also buy MCT oil specifically, which is just more potent. Studies have shown that when people swap vegetable oils for coconut oil as their cooking oil, see an increase in their HDL cholesterol. So start cooking with coconut oil if you want to increase your HDL. Now, vegetable oils are problematic for other reasons as well, which I won't get into in today's video. So you really should swap them out and start using coconut oil instead. I'm gonna link a video on vegetable oils up above if you want to know more. Number two, push breakfast back an hour. Eating all of your meals for the day in a 12 hour window or an even smaller window can help to increase your HDL. This is sometimes known as intermittent fasting, which is when you cycle between periods of fasting and eating. But really, it doesn't have to be complex. It can be as simple as pushing your first meal back an hour or two. Studies have shown that eating in a smaller window each day can not only raise HDL cholesterol, but also decrease triglycerides. And like I said, you don't have to complicate it. Some people like sticking to a very specific intermittent fasting schedule, 16-8 for example, but really, it doesn't have to be like that. You don't have to be rigid about it if you don't wanna be. Like I said before, it can be as simple as not snacking after dinner and pushing your first meal a few hours back in the morning. Number three, walk after meals. Moving more is one of the easiest ways to boost your HDL cholesterol. Studies have shown that walking most days has a big impact on HDL. Now, if you're someone who spends a large portion of the day sitting, try to get up and walk for at least 30 minutes a day. This can be all at once or split up. And if you take these quick walks after you eat, this is gonna have the added benefit of balancing your blood sugar as well. So really, it's a win-win. Now, before I get into the final tip on how you can boost your HDL cholesterol, I'm going to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, Squarespace. 
It's thanks to companies like Squarespace that I am able to put out two videos a week and provide you guys with as much free content as I do. So if you're thinking about building a website for personal use or for your business, check out Squarespace. Their award-winning customizable templates will give your website a polished and professional look while also being highly customizable. You have complete control over colors, fonts, sizing, photos, and more. Their templates are beautiful and professional. And one cool feature that's handy for anyone who works with clients is the scheduling. You can utilize multiple calendars, customize payment settings, and set up automatic email and text reminders. Head to squarespace.com forward slash healthcoachkate to start your free trial. You can do this without having to enter your credit card details. And when you love it and decide to launch, use code healthcoachkate to save 10% off your first order. Thanks again to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And finally, number four, stop smoking. Now, hopefully this is a habit that you've already given up if you even participated in it to begin with, but I had to mention it because the connection between smoking and HDL cholesterol is huge. A review that looked at 45 studies concluded that quitting smoking is clearly associated with an increase in HDL concentrations. Generally, the increase occurs rapidly in less than three weeks. Three weeks. Within three weeks of quitting smoking, your HDL can increase significantly. So if you needed one more reason to quit smoking, <laughs> this is it. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video and you found it helpful. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have done anything in an attempt to increase your HDL, what worked for you, what didn't. I love to hear from you guys, so make sure to leave a comment. If you did enjoy this video, you might also enjoy my video on why you should be more concerned with your triglycerides and your LDL. You can check it out here. If you want to catch up on my most recent upload, you can find it here. And if you want to check out my coaching programs, including my seven day insulin resistance masterclass, you can find those here. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.